Whether it was trying to convince fans that Luka was soft, poking the ball away from him when Phoenix was already up big, or not respecting the Slovenian during a specific post-game interview, Devin Booker assumed he had the Dallas Mavericks dead in the water. But with everybody acting tough when they up, 2022's playoffs points per game leader exacted revenge on his fellow up-and-coming star player, displaying he's in a league of his own. You're about to see what happens if you trash talk Luka Doncic. Before continuing for more content like this, please hit thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Here's a snippet from Chris Paul and Devin Booker's press conference after taking a 2-0 series lead in the Western Conference semifinals against Dallas. Chris, when you're playing a, a guy like Luka Doncic, and how important is it to make him work defensively as far as running him through a lot of actions, especially late in a game when he's logged heavy minutes like that? Uh, we just try to play. Um, take what the defense gives us. Long series, just, we got two games, we're just gonna keep playing. The Suns' two leaders seem to almost crack up and laugh at the question at one point, which was odd given despite the loss, Luka still dropped 35 points on 13 for 22 shooting from the field and five for 10 from the three point line in game two of the series. To be fair, Phoenix had every right to be happy after taking a 2-0 lead, so this didn't seem like the biggest deal. However, as the series progressed, it was clear the Suns had crossed the line from confident to cocky. The series shifted back to Dallas, where the Mavs protected home court behind two near triple doubles from Luka, but little did we know, the lack of respect from the Phoenix Suns was only about to reach its peak. <laughs> Both of those moments where Booker disrespected Doncic came in Game 5 back in Phoenix, and Devin rubbing in his team's Game 5 win didn't help the Suns against a motivated group of Mavericks the next time out, as Brunson, Dinwiddie, and Bullock all scored at least 15 points to assist Luka's 33-piece and give the Mavs a 113-86 win in Game 6. Then, in Game 7, Luka would have as many points as the entire Suns team by halftime with 27. Despite the series being deadlocked at three, Phoenix's players looked mentally beat as they at one point trailed by as many as 46 points. Saucing up his matchup in isolations, defenders, specifically slower centers, have no answer for wizardry from Doncic like this. Three signature combos are followed by a first step to get past DeAndre, but even as Aiton recovers, Luka's incredible footwork and balance allow him to stop on a dime plant his right pivot, and all in one motion, twirl around for a Dirk Nowitzki-esque one-legged fadeaway. This time manufacturing a shot with his timing and IQ, in a handoff action with three shooters spaced out, Doncic fakes the bounce pass to the rolling Powell with his eyes, which keeps DeAndre low in his drop coverage. Again, Aiton does a solid job of sticking with him after a moving between the legs crossover and a nifty step back to the left corner, but Luka only needs an inch of space to knock it down. A hard ball screen from Dwight Powell in the Mavs' pick-and-roll centered offense sees the defensive player of the year Mikael Bridges nicely fight through this screen, but little does Mikael know, he's just a part of a highlight package of Luka's revenge game. After this beautiful transition ball movement from the Mavericks' offense, while most players would have been baited into taking a heat-check three-pointer by a scrambling Bridges, Luka's offensive awareness is rated 99 overall, he calmly upfakes the All-NBA defender and shows off his underrated speed to finish at the cup. But as you're about to see on this possession, the most developed aspect shown off by the Mavericks superstar in these past playoffs, where he was tied with Giannis Adetokounmpo for the most points per game at 31.7, is the 23-year-old's post-up game. It seems Doncic took some tips and tricks from LeBron James, because how he went from the perimeter to the post while handling the ball himself right here looks exactly like the king. Luka's strength is enough to get Cam Johnson thinking drop step, but just watch the follow through on this jumper. That ability to create space for the fadeaway is just nasty. 
Again, he enters the post from the perimeter without the need of an entry pass like LeBron and bumps off even a freight train like DeAndre Ayton for another smooth foul line fadeaway. Bismack Biombo was a solid acquisition mid-season for the Phoenix Suns, but you simply can't ask the man to check Doncic in space. That's what Biz is asked to do right here, where Luka fakes the poster jam with two long strides and then sheds the baited Biombo by just sliding backwards slightly in the air for the lay-in. A simple drag screen by Spencer Dinwiddie gets Luka off Bridges and onto Johnson, who gets hit with one simple spin move, leading directly into a patented step-back bomb. Speaking of step-back bombs, the Suns switched so damn easily, giving Doncic all the mismatches he wanted to work on. Again right here, he gets Johnson onto him and proceeds to send him flying into oblivion with two embarrassing ankle-destroying signature combos, a hesitation to fake the drive, and a stone-cold step back with Johnson on the floor. This classic picture with Doncic peeking in at Booker at the free throw line and trolling him with a revenge smile became the NBA meme of the year. While Luka dropped 35 points and 10 rebounds, his counterpart in the previously acting tough Devin Booker was held to just 11 points on 3 for 14 shooting from the field in Game 7. The Phoenix Suns' overconfident, we're better than you mentality and actions was converted into a mere form of motivation for the Slovenian sensation, a ruthless mentality which gave a 64-win team nightmares. While the Golden State Warriors ultimately figured out the Mavericks, Dallas's new additions, which I'll cover in another video, definitely give Doncic a lot more support. The question is, will it be enough? Regardless, once Luka gets the consistent quality star support from someone else other than himself, his Mavericks are destined to eventually repeat what the franchise did back in 2011. I want to know in your opinion though, where does Luka rank among NBA players right now? Two commenter shoutouts next video, Deflo signing off.